Hi, um, in today's video, I'm just going to optimize the Spin Propeller 1 um, script that we had created in order for the plane's propeller to rotate. So you can actually easily see that, there's, that there is a hard-coded number here, which is um, this, this one. Um, transform that rotate open parenthesis 0 comma 0 comma negative 100 close parenthesis then semicolon to close the statement um, you can actually see that um, this is a hard-coded number and it's not actually very good um, as what we have learned so in order for us to change the script we create we can create a variable for this information and we can call it as speed so let's create a public public float and let's call it speed and then this is will be equals um, since it's going to rotate counterclockwise on the set axis we'll make it at negative 500 and then point zero to show that it's a decimal that we're creating a dec um, variable that needs a decimal number and I think we need to put F here to show that it's float there's still red thing here oh yeah I forgot we have to put the um, semicolon to close our statement now I think we have successfully created a variable for the speed we'll just have to change our equation here so that will be vector 3 vector capital letter V 3 then I had already researched it a while ago so it says vector 3 back we need to do back because the, the vector 3 back it's a shorthand for writing 0 comma 0 comma negative 1 um, so that's it I think we need to multiply it with speed and um, so that it, that's it uh, there is no errors in the script uh, we'll just save it and check out on unity and lastly um, don't forget to attach the script on the propeller you can either drag and drop that on the propeller in the hierarchy or click on propeller inspector and add it as a component so once you click the, the component just look for the spin propeller script and add it then finally uh, let's test the um, game and see if the propeller is actually spinning Additional information with regards to our speed statement, we have uh, declared it to be a public float speed instead of private float speed. Um, the two main difference on this one is very simple. If we place public, that means that uh, this information can be edited by other people. Um, you can see this on the Unity uh, inspector while if you put it on private that means that this information can only be edited inside the um, visual studio so that's a good thing to remember when um, you're setting up public or private class um, variables cheers hey